Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for coming out on such a, a miserable night. This is the last in our uh, row on row roll calls at the Shankle Memorial Garden. Um, just to recap once again, uh, on behalf of my colleagues on the row and row organising group, can I extend a very warm welcome to everyone tonight uh, for our nightly roll call. Last Sunday, we had the honour of welcoming the honorary Polish Consul, Mr. Jerome Mullen, and Rabbi David Singer, as we launched our commemoration event. Just over a hundred years ago, 5,000 men marched down the Shankill Road and off to war. Over 1,500 of these brave men did not make it back, with 150 of them being killed on the first day of the Battle of the Somme, the 1st of July 1916, a date seared on the hearts of many across this island. If we give some thought to this, the heartbreaking truth to the numbers involved means that a funeral, if it was ever possible to find the men's remains, would have taken place on the Shankill for the entire duration of the Great War. Four years, three months and fourteen days. Every street within the community could well have suffered at least one death and in some cases many more. So how do you think you would cope witnessing this every day for, for, for four years? Do you believe this scale of sacrifice deserves every second of remembrance? Well, we certainly do. The names of the men who will be remembered on our roll call are as familiar today as they were back then, and are so because the families of these men still live within this community. This is the time for the Greater Shankill to recognise and remember Recognise those who left before us, their bravery, their sacrifice, their family's loss, and to remember also that their loss played a part in shaping all our lives. Each year we wear our poppies with pride, doing so not for any political reason, but as a simple way of showing our pride and respect to those who died on our behalf and in support of those who continue to suffer the ravages of war and more recent conflicts. Ours is a very simple approach. To remember is to honour. Can I introduce Pastor Jonathan Clark from the Welcome Church who will lead us in prayer. Thank you very much John. Uh, it's just a privilege to be here again tonight and just to leave uh, 65 primary school kids, uh, primary one, primary four, in our Friday night club and to hear those kids actually uh, telling us tonight the reason why we were our poppings with pride has really filled us with a lot of pride tonight. It's important that our children learn and know the reason why. Like everyone else, why we remember. And so could I just ask you please just to bow with us in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight but we can stop, we can pause, we can reflect and we thank you for every one of those brave soldiers who laid down their lives during the First and the Second World War and all of the various conflicts from that. We thank you for every sacrifice that was made, particularly from people from our own Shankill community. We thank you for each one of them and we remember them tonight because they were the ones who fought that we would have our freedom. And so we thank you for each one. We thank you for each sacrifice. And as we remind ourselves of what the Word of God teaches us, where it says those words, greater love has no one than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friends. We thank you for every sacrifice that we've made for our benefits. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we'll have the young people from the youth club at the Welcome Church who will do our roll call. Robert James Greer, 7123, Sergeant, 2nd Battalion, Royal Alaskillen Fusiliers, died of wounds 22nd of, Ju 22nd of July 1916, live 1 Weir Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. 
Thomas Reed, 15844, Rifleman, 9th, 9th, 9th Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles, killed in action 1st of July 1916, live 51 Bellevue Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. Alfred Brands, 13911, Lance Corporal, 9th Battalion, Royal and Eskillan Fusiliers, killed in action 1st of July 1916, lived 39 Sugarfield Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. Samuel Brands, 14130, Lance Corporal, 9th Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles, killed in action 8th of July 1916, lived 39 Sugarfield Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. Robert Smith, 24943, Private, 6th Battalion, Royal Dublin Fusilier, killed in action 8th October 1918, lived 80, 88 Woodfield Road, Greater Shankill, Belfast. Andrew Carson, 430533, Private, 7th Battalion, Canadian Infantry, died of wounds 10th of August 1918 lived 84 Shankill Road, Belfast. Joseph Gillimore, 3479 Private, 2nd ba ba Battalion, Royal Inniskillen Fusiliers, <laughs> killed in action 16th of May 1915, killed 15, lived 15, Cassock Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. John Jones, 1035U, Stoker, HMS, Goliath, Royal Naval Reserves, killed in action 13th of May 1915, lived 11 Sugarfield Shankle Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Just before I recite the Kohima Epitaph, there's one other uh, name to add to the roll call. Um, some people have said about uh, low attendance at our events, and certainly on, on some nights and on a night like this, that's been the case. Last night it was a packed house at the Spectrum Centre. Um, we have posted videos of each evening's event 
and today Pastor Jonathan Clark had a phone call uh, from a lady who is ho housebound in her 90s and asked if it would be possible to mention her uncle so I'm going to include this in a roll call. His name was uh, William McKelvey Johnson. He was a private. His serial number was 136349 in the 52nd Canadian Infantry. He died of wounds on March 10th, 1917. And he lived at 132 Ainsworth Avenue. As I've said, this information has been provided by Miss Elizabeth Whitehead, who has been watching our nightly row and row services. So for um, Elizabeth, this is for you. Thank you very much. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we give our today. Thank you very much everyone, good night.